Man United have been looking for a sporting director since before the end of last season, but here we are seven months on and we still don't have one. Lots of names have been linked, Darren Fletcher, Paul Mitchell, Rio Ferdinand, Edwin van der Sar. And van der Sar's name is back in the spotlight once again after latest reports suggest that he is the top of Manchester United's wanted list. But what is the latest on United's pursuit of a sporting director and will it be van der Sar? So in this video, I'm going to give you all the latest updates on United's pursuit for a sporting director. Now, before we get into this video, you know that we have launched a partnership, a very exciting partnership, I think, with The Athletic. And today, Andy Mitten has published a two-part exclusive interview on The Athletic with Nemanja Vidic. It's a class interview. Part one is there today. And it's all about the best players he has faced. He talks about Bierhoff, Drogba, goes into detail in terms of that Drogba and Vidic situation from the 2008 Champions League final. You can read it on The Athletic. All you've got to do is follow the link in my description. Click that, you can go through and get a 30-day free trial. And then you can get a 50% off voucher for the annual subscription. It's a change away from all the free articles and free journalism you get towards paying a subscription for quality exclusive articles like this interview with Vidic by Andy Mitten. So make sure you follow the link in the description. I don't think you'll regret it. But let's talk about United's pursuit of a sporting director. We've not really heard anything on this for some time. During the summer, towards the tail end of last season, loads of reports were coming out. Then silence until now. And the Mirror's John Richardson is reporting that van der Sar is on the most wanted list. And he reports that United admire the great work he's done at Ajax and consider him a leading candidate for the job because of the excellent work he's gone and done with Ajax. Now, given that we've been linked with Darren Fletcher, I did a video on that, and Rio Ferdinand did a video on that as well, van der Sar is a major, major step up. He's got the sort of experience that Fletcher and Ferdinand simply don't have in that role. He's worked his way up from being a marketing director at Ajax to become their CEO and he's done it all at a major European club to the point where Ajax just won the Dutch league again and got to the Champions League semi-final and van der Sar has played a major role in that. So in that sense, he's the leading candidate. He's the outstanding candidate in terms of offering the blend of experience with knowledge of the club. Someone like Paul Mitchell would have that experience but what van der Sar has is what Solskjaer has. He's been a player at United for some time, won the Champions League, won the league with us multiple times. He knows what it takes for United to be at the very top. And that's the edge that he would have over Paul Mitchell. And in terms of experience, Ferdinand and Fletcher don't even compare. But the questions over van der Sar aren't about his experience or if he's suitable for the role. It's about whether van der Sar would leave Ajax. He's got such strong ties to Holland, born in Holland, Married his wife Anne-Marie in Amsterdam, was an Ajax player for nine years, has been part of Ajax's backroom staff for seven years, came in as a marketing director in 2012, and now he's their CEO. And as I said, Ajax are back at the top of football in Holland. They won the Dutch league. Yes, they may have sold De Jong to Barcelona and De Ligt to Juventus, but they're in such a strong shape in comparison to where they have been in recent years. So in terms of leaving Ajax and leaving Amsterdam and leaving Holland, there are a lot of ties that van der Sar has to stay there. So for him to leave, it would have to be for the perfect job at the perfect club with the perfect conditions. And therein, I think, lies the major problem that United are having with this sporting director. Because whoever comes into United, will they truly be a sporting director? Or will they be sitting there working with Ed Woodward looming over their shoulder? And I just want to give my own opinion on this sporting director search that United have been doing. I wonder whether United ever truly have been looking for a sporting director or whether every story that we've seen in the press has been nothing more than a PR machine just placating the fans that really want change at the club and that United really have no intention of appointing one with any true power because Ed Woodward is the power at United. The Glazers have given him almost an authoritarian grip of United's structure. And for United to properly get a sporting director in, Woodward would have to relinquish power. And I don't know whether that would ever happen. Now, there are reports saying that whoever comes in as this director of football or sporting director, whether that be Van der Sar or somebody else, he would head a sort of transfer committee. It wouldn't just be one man 
working with Solskjaer. It will be a collection of people working to help Solskjaer. Now that's a different sort of structure and I don't know what that would entail. But I have major concerns because if United truly wanted a sporting director, a club of our size, would we really take seven months to make one? Yeah, we haven't made the appointment before, so we want to get it right. But Christ, seven months. Surely we could do it quicker than that. And that makes me think that United is just delaying. Just a bit of lip service to the fans to sort of keep them happy whilst keeping the same structure at the club, which is the problem. And I've said this all along. United cannot move forward properly as a football club to catch up with City and Liverpool without this proper restructure and the introduction of a sporting director or a director of football, whatever you want to call it. The good work that Solskjaer has done this summer in terms of starting the rebuild, three good signings, seven players leaving, it started. That will all unravel and go away if a sporting director doesn't come in because whoever then follows Solskjaer will do the exact same thing, get rid of three players that Solskjaer signed and bring in some more of his own. And that's the problem, that's the cycle we've been stuck in. But somebody who comes in like Van der Sar and being a sporting director keeps that vision through multiple managers. That vision stays the exact same no matter if Solskjaer leaves and somebody else comes in. But I do fear that United really haven't properly been looking for one because it's taken so long. And we've been linked with yes men like Fletcher and Ferdinand who will come in as excellent ex-pros from United but with zero experience in the role. They would just serve Woodward, and that's not what United need. We need to break, just like Daenerys in Game of Thrones, break that wheel, break the cycle, and start something new. We can't do that if somebody like Fletcher or Ferdinand comes in and simply works under Woodward. I'll be honest here. I'm pretty tired of how long this has taken. Not because I'm impatient and I want it now, but... I just don't really feel United have made any proper strides towards appointing one. Certainly not since the summer, it's just all gone quiet again. But it's the single most important thing that we need to do in terms of this rebuild. And if we are looking at Van der Sar, he should absolutely... I mean, we, it's not if, we should be looking at Van der Sar as the outstanding candidate. Because if we want to be the best again in England, catch up with Liverpool, catch up with City, catch up with Spurs, we need to get the best. And Neville, I think, is spot on. You know, some people don't like what he's saying these days, but previously he said that we need the best in class in terms of appointments behind the scene. And that's what we need in terms of this new director of football. I've said it multiple times. Somebody inexperienced like Fletcher or Ferdinand is a risk that we just cannot take. So Van der Sar should be top of United's wanted list. And according to reports, he is. Do you think he would be the right candidate for the role? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Now, as I said at the start of the video, we are partnered with The Athletic, so make sure you follow the link in the description, go down there, get a 30-day free trial and 50% off an annual subscription. And there's an excellent two-part interview, exclusive interview with Nemanja Vidic by Andy Mitten that you can read on there right now. So let me know what you think about Van der Sar in the comments and make sure you go over to The Athletic and subscribe. Until next time though, take it easy.